Hi, I'm Yvonne, one of the 3D leads here at ESRI, and I'm excited to show you voxel layers. The new voxel layer in ArcGIS Pro 2.6 allows you to visualize and explore multidimensional phenomena in a complete new way. Voxels are three-dimensional cubes that can store a variety of data. In this example, we are looking at carbon monoxide distribution in the atmosphere provided by Copernicus Climate Change Service. You can slice through the voxel volume to discover information hidden inside. What makes voxel layers so powerful is how easy it is to visualize in 3D. Take transparency, for example. Without transparency, we would be looking at a yellow box. But with transparency, you can emphasize interactively on the most important values. Voxel layers can be used for other complex analysis, like soil type models. Let's go to the Netherlands. One of the strengths of voxel layers is it can show an enormous amount of data all at once. In this case, discrete soil types underneath the surface. This is the soil type model from TNO Geological Survey of the Netherlands. We are looking at 500 million voxel cubes. Zooming in, this layer remains highly interactive utilizing the GPU. If I'm getting close enough, it almost looks like one of my kids' Lego sets. To make the height difference better visible, an exaggeration is applied. Using voxel layers, you can learn more about the different soil types. For example, peat, here shown in brown. You can create a section between the major cities and explore the distribution of peat in the ground. Peat is very soft and causes high cost in construction. Having this information before starting a construction project is tremendously valuable. Now let's look at water temperature in the Atlantic Ocean over time. Voxelaya allows you to look at this data in so many ways, like defining an isosurface at a specific value, like 13 degrees Celsius, or change it interactively. In the previous examples, we looked at three-dimensional data, X, Y, and Z. But voxel layers can show four dimensions, X, Y, Z, and time. Playing the time animation, you see how the warm water represented in red and yellow is pushed up north to make the Gulf Stream visible. Voxel layers can be created by using publicly available data, like this one from NOAA, or create your own using our great geoprocessing tools like 3D Krieging. We are looking forward to see what you will do with voxel layers.